Hey, Virgo, Summon, Rising, and Venus. This is what we got going on for May 3rd, 2022, afternoon spread. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. Tarotbarbie.com. Let's get it. Virgo's coming with the Hermit, the Queen of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you guys could have been dealing with an Aries, a Taurus, a Libra, a Virgo, a Capricorn, a Scorpio. Mm, a Leo. <laughs> Let's get it, Virgos. Coming with the Hermit, the Eight of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. There could be a Virgo right now, sweeties, that is reflecting on you at the moment, remembering how beautiful of a person you are, how emotionally loving and nurturing and compassionate and kind and caring and everything like that, Virgos. This person is definitely in their head with the Eight of Swords, Three of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. They're thinking about all the times that they had such a good time here with you with the Four of Wands. Like, you're absolutely everything and more for this person, Virgos. But maybe this person focused much, much more on work. Maybe they put you in a three-party situation and now they're definitely kicking themselves in their ass for what they have done to you. They know that they're not going to be able to get another love like you again with the Queen of Cups energy. You guys had much more than the world to offer them with the Ace of Pentacles. Now this person's thinking about coming back towards you and maybe offering you a proposal, a relationship, and everything else and more. This person knows that they did you unjust with the Justice card in reverse. So for that, the universe is coming in to bless you guys up with the Ace of Wands. There could be a new opportunity with this relationship and this connection. This person wants to put in the work, hoping that you guys are going to be able to fix all the unjust shit with the Justice in reverse to have this opportunity to come back towards you guys. All right, But this Virgo is definitely in their head at the moment with the Eight of Swords. They're think, overthinking a whole lot. They can't get you out of their mind. Everywhere they go, they, they just see you for that matter. Um, they can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop thinking about how loving and how sweet and how kind and, you know, your whole nine Virgos, you're everything and more to this person. This person, you guys may have ended up fighting with this person with the five of one energy because they could have put you in a three party situation, which brought nothing but a lot of stress here at the same time. And they were very selfish and manipulative and you guys had no choice but to walk away from the situation with the five of sword in reverse. You, you threw in the white towel. You said, no, I don't have time for this. You, you took your power back. If this person's going to be putting you in a three-party situation, if they're going to be fighting and arguing, a lot of you guys, somebody here is going to be going out, Virgos, as well. And if they go out drinking and partying and they come back home, I want you guys to know that you guys are going to end up getting into a fight with this person. And then there could potentially be a breakup with the, between the two of you guys. All right? You guys are just not going to have it anymore. You're, you're tired of it. You're fucking tired of it, to be quite honest with you guys. Uh, you guys are so beautiful, Virgos. Look at this. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles energy. So during the month of July, it seems like you guys are going to get a new opportunity coming for you with the Wheel of Fortune. This The cycle is going to be turning for you guys. You guys have been investing in a particular uh, project at the moment that's going to be able to bring you the stability, the financial success that you guys are looking for as well. You guys can have everything in the world and more that you guys want. As long as you guys stay loving and sweet and compassionate and hardworking and you keep your eye on the goal there's no reason why the universe is not going to continue to keep blessing you guys up a lot of you guys have uh paid your karma up you guys have paid your karma and for that now it's time for you guys to receive from the from the universe with the wheel of fortune also virgos you guys are just so grounded here too and you guys have been focusing on yourselves with the seven of pentacles i'm so hot with the seven of pentacles uh, as well and and there's something here that you keep very very close to your heart but if it doesn't bring you peace then you want nothing to do with it either all right you guys are very much so guarded because you guys are focusing on your own manifestations with the nine of cups to the queen of wands you're so resilient you're such a fighter no matter how much darkness anyone brings towards you with the nine of wands you guys are going to continue to battle no matter what no matter what it's not going to happen you guys are so absolutely heartbroken and there's nothing wrong with being heartbroken virgos it just shows that you guys are you guys are already coming in as the queen of cups the queen of pentacles and the queen of wands you're the whole entire nine you're the whole nine virgos you're everything and more you know with the three of swords you guys have gone through a lot of stress and pain and heartache and it makes you very very sad virgos but i mean at the end of the day you guys are going to come out of that and you guys are going directly into your happiness don't keep don't allow anything to keep you down for too long any breakup no man no woman's gonna hold you down and make you feel inadequate in any way shape or form take back your power be the queen of wands remember who it is that you guys are you're gonna let somebody make you feel like you you're not good enough you're gonna let somebody make you feel like that you did that you were a second option no you're never number two you're never number two and it is what it is you're never number two male or female i don't give a fuck you're never number two if you're not number one then the fuck you mean then you're not number two go on with your life and, and, and they can kick rocks for 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 all i care <laughs> 
for all I care, they can all go kick rocks, Virgos, if they can't appreciate you and, and, and love you. And But now they're sitting down thinking about you all along, right? Now, now they're, now they're, now they're kind of like, you know, in a way, it's like this person is still seeing you. So they still have access to you in some sort of way. With the Hermit card to the Page of Swords, they still have access to you. Don't matter how they have access, but they still have access to you. And this person is trying to find ways to come back towards you again. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, King of Pentacles. So this person is having a really hard time sleeping with the four swords to the devil card. This person is having a really hard time because they can't stop thinking about you. They they know that they have they love you so much, but the, the love that they have for you is almost turning obsessive in a way too. They want to come back in. They want to communicate with you here. You are very close to their heart. Like you guys are definitely a soulmate connection, but unfortunately, whatever had happened in the past, it was very fucked up. And you guys are energetically soulmate connection here. The only downfall is, is that this person fucked up and now they all fucked up in their head and regretting the way that they treated you for that. You guys are going to continue to move on with your life, a queen of wands and stepping into your power. So we'll only be able to see what comes in afterwards. <laughs> Regardless of where goes, this person's having a hard time sleeping. This person is seeing you a lot in your in their dreams as well with the four swords to the devil card. They're trying to find ways to free themselves for this from this, but they cannot uh, at all. They have way too much love for you that their love that they have for you is honestly turning so toxic and so obsessive towards you guys. So they want to come back for you, but they had you all the way fucked up with the Empress in reverse to the tower card. <sighs> at the end of the day, they're coming back for you with the Knight of Cups. They want to talk to you. They're hoping that you did not move on with your life with the Eight of Cups in reverse to the Death card in reverse. So a lot of you guys may not have walked away from this person, but I definitely don't see an ending to this connection. So even if you guys had ended it at one point in your life, you, uh, what is that word called? You guys still have unfinished business you guys have to take care of. That's exactly what that is. You have unfinished business. The death in reverse, the eight of cups in reverse, the four of pentacles. You guys still keep this person very close to your heart and vice versa for that. You guys have unfinished unfinished business with this person. So whatever had, had ended back when, it's coming back for you guys. And you guys are going to get this new chance to either make it work or call it a fucking day. But more so with the fact that uh, it's unfinished business. You guys have to figure that out when you, when that energy comes towards you guys, all right? The strength card. This person is going to be getting the strength to come back towards you guys. They're worried that you guys are going to reject their offer with the four of cups or not, not even respond back to them for that matter. This person wants to see you. They've been thinking about you. They're trying to find creative ways to have an open mind on rebuilding the relationship that they have with you, right? And they just want to speak to you. They want to tell you the truth. They want to, they genuinely actually want to be telling you the truth. They may even want to tell you the truth about why they did what it is that they did with the Seven of Swords to the King of Cups. This person may have been uh, emotionally manipulative at one point, but you guys caught that energy real quick. And then when you guys had caught it, you're like, nope, <laughs> the fuck not. Judgment, the fuck not. What do you mean? I can see your shit. So if this person is going to be trying to come back again towards you, and and you feel like they're pulling the same shit again no no no. it's done virgos you guys are definitely going to be turning your back away from this person three of wands to the high priestess and you guys are going to go absolutely silent because you guys know your intuition is on point and when your intuition talks to you and guides you you guys are always going to continue to be able to move on no matter what you guys with the judgment to the tennis it's like you know i've been here way too many times before yes we have unfinished business but the unfinished business is going to be that we're going to come back and bring this towards you guys one more time are you guys going to be able to catch the red flag that's going to be coming in for you guys? But your intuition is telling you it's not a good idea because this person's already put ten swords in your back. They already betrayed you really badly, right? And uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aquarius energy. This person's still going to wrench back towards you anyway. Um, Virgos, you guys got to be careful, all right? Like, just I understand when it comes to relationship. If this person didn't physically harm you or do anything towards you, there's no reason why you guys would want to need to attack this person. Don't like, did no need to attack people for the fuck no reason. <laughs> Who am I talking? People attack me all fucking day for no fucking reason. They'll be like, "Oh, Barbie's too happy today. Let's go and let's go and make her become sad. <laughs> let's make her sad. Let's make her miserable. Let's not." <laughs> okay then. <laughs> I'm still gonna be good at the end of the day. Waste your energy. Waste your time. Do your thing. Do whatever you gotta do. I don't care. All right. So for you guys, this is just an FYI for you guys, Virgos. There's no reason to attack people just to attack people. <laughs> <laughs> it just it doesn't make sense. Just don't do it. <laughs> just don't. 
<laughs> don't be attacking people for no reason, Virgos. Just like, I mean, by spell work is what I'm talking about, of course. <laughs> so jokes, okay? I can laugh about it all day, but it's it's usually is not good, Virgos, okay? It's usually always never good. <laughs> okay, also Virgos. <laughs> There could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius who's coming in to attack you in some sort of way here as well. But they're saying that you guys are already going to be knowing about it when this person tries to take action to do something like this. This person actually wants to see you in the Ten of Swords energy. But the judgment is being called in to take care of you as well. You guys are definitely connected to divination with the hangman. You guys have made so many sacrifices to the divine. You guys are so protective, protected too. And you guys have been doing what you guys needed to do to heal yourself. Also Virgos. Make sure you guys cleanse yourselves immediately, especially because the solar eclipse energy, the new moon, the black moon is, is now. So make sure you guys cleanse yourselves from this energy because people have been attacking during the solar eclipse. They got they ain't got nothing better the fuck to do except sit there and fucking attack people. <laughs> Go do something productive. <laughs> because from what I'm seeing, you guys are losing left, right, and center. And then you guys are trying to figure out why things are happening to you. You all be knowing why things be happening. <laughs> Crazy ass motherfuckers out here, yo. Alright, so if you guys you guys are gonna know right away when someone's gonna be doing that to you. Uh, they want to destroy you. They want to hurt you. Also, I see <laughs> I see uh, daggers as well, Virgos. This person's going to be trying to go full out to try and hurt you. Uh, so make sure uh, they're trying to do, uh, like, voodoo, of course, Virgos. Like, come on now, okay? That's the Ten of Swords. Um, yeah, there's voodoo here. <laughs> there, there's definitely some voodoo here, Virgos. Not to try and scare you guys, but that's fucking reality. And that's what people be doing out here. And they be wild. They be wild out here for real. Um, at the end of the day, Virgos, you guys are going to continue to move on with your life. You guys got an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius who is seeing you move on. You guys have no time to be putting yourself in a position with this person anymore. And they're just going to watch you go on with your life. All right? Two of Pentacles. So there's going to be a message coming in from a Cancer, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person is going to be reaching out to you, hoping that you guys are going to want to sit there and talk to them. You guys are going to be really confused when this person reaches out to you, but you're going to have to make a decision. Do I want to talk to them or do I want to block them at the end of the day? But you guys are going to be very much so defensive when this person reaches out to you. You guys are really defensive Virgos you guys are not going to want know what to do like do I talk to them do I not talk to them do I meet up with them do I not meet so you guys are going to take a moment to not respond right away of course but when you guys do respond you guys are going to have a whole lot of things that you guys are going to want to say at the same time um if anybody here was trying to do spell work on you it seems like angels are coming in to block that energy from you guys as well Virgos so that way it doesn't it doesn't hurt you you guys are going to end up being in the Ten of Pentacles. So for every time somebody attacks you here with the Seven of Wands, you guys get you guys get more blessed up with the Ten of Pentacles. You guys are going to be releasing the past with the Six of Cups in reverse and releasing the sadness, depression, and everything else. You guys are the magician upright. You guys can have everything in the world and more. That If you guys want it, you guys can have it, right? And more money is going to be coming on your way. Prosperity is coming towards you guys as well. You guys are the magician to the Nine of Pentacles. You guys can create anything in the world that you guys want. There's not another Virgo like you guys. Every Virgo is blessed in their own ways you see me so when you doing something of positive energy and you living your best life you guys got nothing but rich coming towards you, like riches wealth money <laughs> because you guys keep manifesting positive things virgos see what i mean while these people are doing negative things <laughs> they're manifesting negativity upon you and you guys are manifesting something positive so you see what I'm saying? How the energy is going to go back up onto them. And then they're going to end up losing. You see me? And then you guys are going to continue to keep flourishing. Nine of Pentacles. It's going to be coming in fast for you guys as well. Uh, there could be a Taurus who wants to come back towards you guys, Virgos. All right? There could be a Taurus who wants to come back towards you guys as well. This person wants to communicate to you. So expect messages coming in from this person for the next from the next six to eight days. So expect that energy. Also, Virgos, in the next 10 days, you guys are going to be a lot more happier. There could be a relationship that you guys might be in at the moment, especially if it's marriage. You guys feel like you're not getting what it is that you guys want out of this relationship, out of this connection. You thought that maybe it was going to be so good and so blissful with the Ten of Cups, but you don't feel good about it with the Five of Pentacles. Some of you guys may have found out that you guys were a mistress to somebody or there was a mistress to your relationship. But at the end of the day, it will be a cycle that's going to end up closing off with the world card there. A lot of you guys might be about to travel too. 
Uh, and you guys might end up meeting somebody on your travels. You are, you guys, a lot of you guys, summer's coming in, spring's here, so a lot of you guys are going to be traveling. And while you guys are traveling, you guys may end up meeting somebody else as well. Uh, and you got this person's gonna catch your interest and they're gonna be very loving and very sweet and They're gonna tell you. Oh my god. You're so beautiful and you're so cute in the whole night uh, but it could But it could be during the full moon energy of May 30th or the relationship or the connection of you guys communicating with each other will last all the way up until May 30th And keep going but it is gonna bring you a little bit of darkness because you guys have gone through so much deceptive in your life when it comes to other relationships that you're worried that anyone that you guys meet is going to end up in darkness and deception and just coward shit, Virgos. But it could be a very successful relationship with the Six of Wands to the Lover's card. So even if there is mystery and whatever, whatever it is that you guys have been going through, you guys will be able to overcome it and actually have a new relationship coming towards you guys with the Page of Wands to the Lover's card. Thanks, cuties. Bye.